amazing place. The sun rises and sets each day. The moon changes shape a little each night. Rain falls, sun shines, and the seasons come and go. Everything in nature has a reason to be here, including me. How I live, the things I do, helps make the world that I live in, now and in the future. It's not hard. It's all about choices. I choose to make energy from the sun and wind, to collect rainwater to drink, and to grow my food at home. Other great ways to help the planet are recycling your waste, turning off a light when you don't need it on, and using old stuff to make new things. It's all about balance. There is so much we can do to get it right. What I choose to do does make a difference. It's up to you and me to use our talents to live in harmony. I think all living things should have a place to call home. It's called a habitat. I know I love my habitat, but what about all the little creatures that live around my home and garden? Every little thing that I do in my life makes little changes to the world. Most of these changes help me, like a new garden. But those changes can mean that an animal or insect will need to find a new place to live. I try to look after all the living things that live with me in Dirt Girl World. I try to look after their homes too. Even if I move a rock or just look under it, I always check to see who lives there. They don't seem to mind much if I put the rock back in the same place. The best thing about sharing my home is that there's always room for an extra habitat around here. Worm or lizard, frog or bat, all need to have a habitat. We're filling up our planet with garbage and if we don't do something fast, we're going to run out of space. That's why we need to follow the three R's. Reduce, reuse, recycle. Reducing means using less. You can use less power by turning off a light when you aren't using it. And you can use less water by not leaving the water running for no reason. Now reusing is great fun. Reusing is something that Scrap Boy does all the time. He reuses things for his scrapables and his inventions. One great way to reuse is by taking a cloth bag with you to the store instead of taking home new paper bags or plastic bags. Recycling is all about making new things from old things. Things like paper bags and plastic bottles and cans can be recycled. Sorting your rubbish and garbage is a great way to recycle. Reuse, recycle, reduce. Three things that you can do. This is compost. The more rotten it looks, the better it is. Plants like compost added to the soil around them. It gives them the food that they need to grow. Just like people, different plants like different things. When it comes to giant pumpkins, this is my secret ingredient. Seaweed! Seaweed comes from the sea. And it contains all of the food that pumpkins need to grow big. Really big. One thing you need to do before you use seaweed as compost is give it a good rinse in fresh water. <laughs> seaweed is really salty and pumpkins don't like salt. <laughs> the secret ingredient that I need for giant pumpkins is seaweed. Worms do lots of hard work in my garden under the soil. I can tell when the soil is healthy because when I dig it up, there are lots of worms in it. They live in the dark. They don't even have eyes. I guess they don't really need them down there. They wiggle underground, eating and making little tunnels as they go. In the dirt are tiny bits of worm food. Worms eat lots and poo lots. And the worm poo helps my garden grow. The more food I can feed my worms, the more food I can grow in my garden. The more food I can grow in my garden, the more food I can feed my worms. It's a cycle and it goes round and round. Worms can eat and eat and eat, then feed my beans and silver beet. 
love spring. Each year is made up of four seasons. Each one follows the last. It's a cycle and it goes on forever. In summer, I like swimming and making lemonade on hot days. It's a good time of year for working in your garden too. But sometimes it gets too hot. And when the weather starts getting cooler and the leaves start falling from my beautiful trees, it's called autumn or fall. Next is winter, the coldest season of them all. It's a time to rug up and keep warm. But my favorite season is spring because that's when new life appears in my garden after the cold of winter. I love how the days get longer and warmer and how the whole world just springs to life. Now here's a fact you can't ignore. Seasons come in groups of four. Do you want to know what my chickens eat for breakfast? Come and take a look at this. My chickens love squishy cucumber and potato peels and things like that. They gobble it up like it's the yummiest food in the world. Chickens are fantastic recyclers. They turn their breakfast into my breakfast. Chickens eat my scraps and dregs and turn them into yummy eggs. This is a ladybird. Sometimes they're called ladybugs or lady beetles, but I like to call them ladybirds because they can fly. Ladybirds are a type of beetle. Beetles are insects, so ladybirds are insects. Ladybirds also ooze a smelly smell that tastes terrible so that birds and other creatures won't eat them. Now that's clever. Come on in, ladybirds. But I love them most because they will come and land in my hand and stay for a chat. Hello, lovely ladybird. Ladybirds are red with spots. I love their smiles and tiny dots. Chickens don't just eat food. They help grow it here in Dirt Girl World. How? Well, believe it or not, it's because of their poo. I always wear gloves and use a shovel when working with poo. You should never touch this stuff with your bare hands. Yep, I have mixed chicken poo with water, left it to brew, and there you go. Chicken poo brew. I can sprinkle it on my garden. It helps my plants to grow. Gardeners, farmers and green thumbs also use sheep poo or cow poo or horse poo to fertilise the garden. But you should never use people poo. So, whatever food goes in the chickens returns to the garden as a kind of fertiliser. It's a fully feathered circle of life. Chicken poo, when gently brewed, helps my garden grow more food. You know, I really love dirt. That's why I'm called Dirt Girl. Dirt is amazing. It is made up of all kinds of things, like broken bits of rock and stones, little bits of sticks and plants, sand and leaves, all mixed together. Time can help to make dirt, but so do lots and lots of creatures. Ants, worms, beetles, and even Slugs help to make dirt. There are so many dirt things to do in a day. Digging in the dirt, planting in the dirt. But my favourite dirt thing to do is making mud pies. It's easy peasy fun. Mixing dirt with water or playing with mud after it rains, you can make a great mud pie. Mmm, it looks delicious. But I wouldn't try to eat it. It is mud, don't forget. <laughs> I love dirt. It's such a game. That's why Dirt Girl is my name. Did you know that all carrots used to be purple? 